actually what we have here is um a phantom 3 pro um gimbal board all right so this actually come from a different phantom 3 not from this um particular phantom 3 right there it can actually come from that one right there it can actually come from that one right there it actually come from a different one so what i will need to do is um this is the exactly one that came with that phantom 3 you can see the difference right but they are quite the same thing but i don't know if this can actually be a problem while the, while the gimbal is not vibrating appropriately so what i need to do right now is um i need to take up i need to take out the your motor right here there is a your motor right here i need to take it out and replace it back where it was then i will now fix properly it up and see how it works right here with us so what i need to do is i'll take this off i'll take the your motor you can see this this is the your motor so i need to take some bolts down i need to loosen some bolts down one two three of it i'll take it out then pull out the your motor replace it back here and then fix in the gimbal and see how it performs here since this is not actually from the originated phantom 3 so um i need to take off this your motor right here i need to take off this your motor right here replace it in the originated um board this is the originated board this is where this particular one needs to be but simply because this was actually damaged this was actually damaged the shafts got bent and i had to make a replacement with the other board and the other board was quite neater than this originated one as you can see you have some dirt on it and it probably need a clean brushing with um as white spirit stuff like that so what i need to do now is um i had to switch the motors um i switched this because actually we have we're having a paint sharp shafts right there you can see that's not straight it's probably got bent so what I, I i did was i had to switch it over but i still found out that i'm having issues but i don't know if this could probably be a problem while why the um gimbal is not calibrating properly how it's supposed to be all right so what i need to do now is um, i'm going to take off the bolts right here i think i need a little more a smaller screw like a star i need to put it right down and i need to loosen that out i need to loosen this out and i take it out be careful so you won't get this um cable rot off and um you know quite a little bit um expenses and all of that so i need to take it out you can see the magnetic pole just get off the bolts from the um you can see that right just uh um, you know has some kind of a little bit magnetic stuff on it so what you need to do as um what what you need to do now is then uh, why pulling out the why pulling out the your motor you know there's a little bit cable right here more like a ribbon cable but this is kind of a flex right this is a flex cable and um you know you really need to be careful so you won't get this rod out and damaged so what you do is um just be a little bit careful while pulling it out and you know you go it um gently 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 sorry it's really going to take a little bit of much of the time to take out you know Trying to be careful so you won't get it twisted on the rocks. Okay, fine, I think we're good to go right there. So, you see that right? Very gently, 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 gently. Okay, we're good to go right there. You see that right? I just took off the Yomo. This is the Yomo to control. So, what I need to do is, um, I am actually dropping <coughs> this gimbal board. Alright, I'm actually dropping this particular one because this is not the originated one with this Phantom 3 right there. You can see this Phantom 3 right there. Right. This is not the originated board that is with this. So what I need to do is I need to take this out. Okay, I'm dropping it aside. I'm dropping that aside and I'm bringing in this. Because this is the originated board that came with this particular drone. So let's see what we got here. Let's fit in this your motor right here let's put in this your motor inside this board so let's see what we have if this camera gimbal if this gimbal as a whole we will be able to calibrate for it. right let's see how it goes right here you can see this right this is a very fragile stuff all right so let's try to fit this in there so you can see there's a little bit um passage like a uh, kind of a little bit um hole right there you can see that right that's where the cable passes what you do is um, you 
put in the cable first and you, you know, take it closer and try to fit in the shafts but you need to be careful with this alright, you try to fit in the shafts so the hole right there you could see that hole so the hole right there, try to fit in the shaft with this right, so let's see how it goes and you, yeah, be careful so you won't get it twisted and it. and you come right in here you get hold of the cable and you know, just let it in Okay, I think we have it. Okay. okay, so all we need to do now is to position these in a proper way so you'll be able to put back the screws in exactly the way you use them. Okay? So, let's see what we got here. Okay, fine. You can see the screw hole, right? So, you pick up your screws and um, you need to be more careful because I think um, it's kind of a magnetic force in it on the motor that once you take the screwdriver close to it, it actually it's actually it actually snaps the screws from the screwdriver to the way. So what you need to do, you need to like um, you know be careful. Maybe you could block it or something. Okay, here we go. So position that properly and. Um, Probably I do block this because of the magnetic force, which you can see that, right? It tries to snap, snap the screw from me. You can see that, right? So uh, I think I see it. I think need to try harder. Okay, let me use this screwdriver. You can see what I did right there. Okay, pick it up and um, don't let it snap the screw. From me. All right, I think we got one fixed and. Um, Pick up the other one, fix it into the scroll and uh, you gently take it closer, avoid the magnetic poles or the repels around, you know it grabs iron. Okay, we got this. And it's remaining one, just one. Okay. And um towards the other edge. And be careful. Okay, we got it done. Alright, so um there's a little bit stuff here. There's a little um this thing where the ribbon cable lights on slips in. Here's it. You can see that right? Has the space like a clip. Where it slips in. So what you do is um you position it in a proper way and you try to slip the cable in before clipping this. Let's try to slip this cable in right here. Okay, you bring it out and uh, it's really easy to take it out and put it back to the like a oh, wall. Okay, so, but well, as an engineer, I, mean, I believe you know what to do right there. You know how to position this and you know how to make it work your own way without getting a lot of time wasted. So you probably. right there and you pick your finger you stick your little bit from you know, sorry that part though <laughs> just stick it right there stick it right there okay you can see that make sure that the white line you can see there's a little bit white line right there white line you can see that white line right there make sure that the white line is fully fits in before you close the clip. Okay, you can see that, right? I just need the right one to take it. Then there's a black one on top of it. You just close it down. Press it down. Clip it down. So, you're done know, with that. What you need to do is um, cover it. Cover it. Okay. Now we're done with this. You pick up the bolt. Okay. So, thank you very much. Follow me on um, TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also follow me on Twitter. So, let's just have all of this set up. Okay, so you can just go there. All different kinds of drones you have. 
I do repair all the bank items and I fix all the bank items. So any of those stuff you want to do, you could just um, go to my YouTube channel and you could see the videos and you could help yourself out. And if you still need to seek my, um, I think like if you, if you still need to need me in, um, in person to help you out with um, all of this, maybe you could just um, get my contact below or you could just message me either on my WhatsApp or any of the social media platforms you're in or you follow me on, you could just drop a comment or you could message me then I would personally attend to you so have a nice day guys I think um, um, it's high time we do the coupling so let's just see the last part of this drone let's see how it's going to fly properly and let's see how what I've done on this gimbal on this camera gimbal let me see, let's see what I've done on this gimbal it's going to work properly fine appropriately fine so just hold on, wait for the next video. Thanks guys. Love you guys.